Being safe is very important to us. So when we were looking for a home security system, we were looking for one that had high definition cameras. Something that didn't have a lot of wires. And cameras that we could put up discreetly throughout the house. And when we found Arlo, the choice was a no brainer. Installation was very simple. Because it doesn't require any cords, we can get creative about where we put it. We can just move them to keep an eye on our baby. You have the batteries that are long lasting, so I can have it installed outside. You get email alerts, and it works with motion sensors. When we go on vacation, we always know that we can stay connected and know what's going on with the house. So Arlo gives us peace of mind at work and at night. Arlo has definitely made an impact in our lives. It's really made being safe simple. Bail. Mr. Cuddles, Tony, what do you know about our old candles? Anyone? Jeez, guys! Really? This is an all security camera, guys. HD resolution, free cloud storage for seven days, no wires, and it's weatherproof. You guys want to see something? Oh, it has night vision. It's like the perfect security camera. Cuddles, it's got to stop. I was not going to let you get away with those kinds of things anymore. Really? See that all the cute game over there, boys? Know what that means? No more joy rides ever. No deals, Mr. Cuddles. Stay strong. Hey, you guys want to say hi to Buddy? Buddy! Oh, the doorbell. Packages on the bench, please. Our cameras are gonna be pretty great, guys. Who needs more tea? Tony, you good? Mr. Cuddles? I can't wait for tomorrow. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Setting up Arlo wire-free is fast and easy. However, if you do run into issues during the installation with motion detection or the alerts, there are some common troubleshooting tips you'll want to know. In this video, we'll review several of them. Arlo cameras have a 110 degree viewing angle. Proper positioning will ensure that you get the most out of your Arlo system. Position the camera so the space that you want to monitor is within the camera's field of view. Be sure to mount the camera at least seven feet from the floor, aimed slightly down, and positioned for side-to-side -side movement across its field of view. If your camera is not detecting motion, or if it's detecting motion you don't want it to, the motion sensitivity may need to be adjusted. Use the motion detection test to find the optimal motion setting for each camera. To open the motion detection test, go to Settings, My Devices, select your camera, then click on Motion Detection Test. Start at a low setting and walk in front of the camera. Keep moving and increasing the motion detection setting until the camera's front LED indicator light starts blinking. This means the camera has detected your motion and can be set at this level. Remember, the motion detection test is simply an assessment. To change your camera's level of sensitivity, click on the mode tab and select your base station. Then click the pencil icon next to the mode. Tap the pencil icon to edit when motion is detected and drag the bar to adjust the motion sensitivity. In some cases, your camera may be detecting motion, but you're not receiving the alerts. In this case, either your email address is not confirmed or the alert setting is accidentally disabled in the rule. First, check this by navigating to Settings, then Profile. 
If you've not confirmed your email address for Motion Alerts, you'll see a message indicating this. Click on the Confirm link to receive a confirmation email. Open your email and complete the verification process for the email notifications to begin. If this doesn't solve the problem, check the rule settings by going to Mode, selecting a camera and tapping the pencil icon under Email Alerts. You can also add additional email addresses for receiving alerts by selecting Edit. For more troubleshooting tips, head to support.arlo.com. Smart home security has never been brighter. Introducing the Arlo Pro 3 Floodlight Camera. It's a combination of our award-winning camera technology paired with the superior brightness of a powerful LED floodlight. Delivering the first ever floodlight camera that can be set up entirely wire-free. Giving you total flexibility for maximum visibility with a sleek and intelligent design that complements any exterior. A wide, crisp picture with color night vision lets you zoom in on the details. And a built-in smart siren can easily be triggered when you're away. With flexible power options, you can use the rechargeable battery or provide continuous power through a power outlet or solar panel. And rest assured, with Arlo's Privacy Pledge, that ensures your data and videos remain secure, private, and in your control. The Arlo Pro 3 Floodlight Camera. It's security at its brightest. Hi, I'm Neil, Arlo Product Manager, and today I'm going to show you how to install your new Arlo video doorbell. To give you an idea of what to expect during the installation process, we'll show you how to install the power kit, video doorbell, and then complete setup on the Arlo app. You'll need to find where your existing doorbell chime and your breaker or fuse box are located before beginning the process. Some tools you might need for installation, depending on your home setup, are a Phillips head screwdriver, a ladder to reach your chime box, tape to secure your wires to the wall during installation, and if you need to drill new holes for the doorbell, you'll need a power drill and a 6mm size drill bit if you are installing with anchors. You'll need to download the Arlo app to your phone or tablet. Create an Arlo account if you are a new user, or log into your existing Arlo account if you already have one. Once you have signed into the app, select Add New Device. Choose Arlo Doorbell and Chime, then select the Arlo Video Doorbell. Let's get started with the installation. First, we need to install the power kit. You'll need to find your existing chime box. Chime boxes are commonly mounted on the wall, near the front door or in a hallway. 
If you can't find the chime box, try ringing the doorbell and following the sound to locate it. Next, turn off the power at the breaker or fuse box. Make sure there is no power to your chime box and doorbell. Try ringing the doorbell again to confirm the power is off. Now that the power is off, we can remove the cover of the chime box. Chime box configurations may vary, so follow the prompts based on your configuration in order to determine the proper terminals to attach the power kit to. First, connect the power kit wires to the terminals in your chime box as prompted by the Arlo app, and tighten the screws. Make sure the existing chime wires are still connected to the terminals. The colors of the existing wires may vary. Use the illustration in the app to confirm that the power kit is wired correctly. When you're done, the wiring should appear as pictured in the app. Next, peel off the adhesive film from the back of the power kit and place the power kit inside or on the outside of the box. For best placement, try to place it in a location where the power kit and its wires won't interfere with the operation of your chime. Spots to avoid are marked by an X, as shown in the app. Replace the chime cover once complete. Now, we're going to replace your existing doorbell with the Arlo Video Doorbell. First, unscrew your old doorbell and disconnect the wires. Be careful that the wires don't fall back into the wall. It's a good idea to tape them to the wall to ensure that they stay in place. Use the release pin to detach the mounting plate from the rear of the video doorbell by pressing through the bottom release hole. We will show you how to install with the flat mounting plate, but depending on where your video doorbell is located, you may want to use the angled mounting plate for an optimal view. Position the mounting plate on the wall, keeping the wires and hole positioned toward the bottom of the mounting plate, as shown. You may need to drill new holes for the mounting plate if your existing wired doorbell's holes were in a different location. Secure the mounting plate to the wall using the included screws. Connect the wires from the wall to your Arlo video doorbell. Either wire can connect to either terminal. Wrap the wires behind the screws and then screw them tight. Once the wires have been connected and screwed in, snap the doorbell onto the mounting plate with an up and in motion. Now you can turn the power back on. The light on the front of the doorbell will turn solid white. Tap continue on the Arlo app to continue setup. Your phone will need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your video doorbell. Press the doorbell button to start the sync. The LED on the front of the doorbell will flash white. Hold the QR code in front of your Arlo video doorbell. The QR code should be around 8 inches in front of the doorbell and you will hear a chime. Create a unique name for your video doorbell that will help you identify it later. Once your video doorbell has been found, it will search for any available for more updates. Next, test your chime by following the prompts. After the doorbell is installed, select Continue. The app will prompt you to set up Arlo Smart. Arlo Video Doorbell includes a three-month trial of Arlo Smart, a subscription-based service you can add to your Arlo devices to deliver personalized notifications of events that matter. It even allows you to take quick action, like phone a friend or sound an alarm from your notification panel. Receive personalized alerts that tell you if a package, person, vehicle, or even animal is in view. Easily create custom activity zones to pick up motion only in important